So that was my trip and by the end I I was ready to get off but I definitely wasn't itching to. I felt like it was a comfortable amount of time at least for me and I would absolutely do it again. I would recommend it to anyone. And as I said before, I was actually really surprised at how comfortable I was sleeping in my chair. I did not know what to expect at all riding in coach. So I'm 5'9 and I still felt pretty comfortable. I just brought a little fuzzy blanket and just put my headphones on, played some music quietly, and that was really all I needed. For your amenities, outlets at your seat. Um, if you're in the observation car, there are outlets scattered around there as well, so you can charge your phone if you need to. In terms of Wi-Fi, if you're in coach, there is no Wi-Fi, at least at this time. So you will have to be prepared to not have Wi-Fi and very limited connectivity uh, if you just are using data. Um, Wi-Fi is available to the upper cars as far as I can tell, but not available to coach. Do keep that in mind. 
The washrooms were pretty good. Uh, they were rather large. You could pretty much get everything done in there. I never had to wait for the washroom. Using the washroom was pretty easy and it was pretty clean. So I didn't have a problem with that. My five main tips for people riding the train and or sleeping in coach. One, bring a blanket, just even a little one is good, or an eye mask and maybe noise canceling headphones. Just anything that you need to drown out any extra sensory stimulation so that you don't have to worry about that while you're sleeping. Two, spend your time in the observation car. It is so beautiful. I spent my entire second day in the observation car. That's also where you're going to meet the most people. Number three, don't be afraid to meet people. There are people from all over the world riding that train. And in my experience, people are generally really happy riding the train. I met someone from Australia. I met someone who lives on a sailboat. I met this darling little girl who became my bestie for the rest of the day and the rest of the trip. And I probably wouldn't have met them if I wasn't afraid to just talk to people. Four, I know I mentioned the scary thing of no Wi-Fi access. Take that as a blessing. I didn't have Wi-Fi for the whole train trip. You don't need to be on your phone the whole time. That's the way you're gonna meet more people and you're actually going to see all the incredible views that you're passing. Lastly, number five, don't forget to look at the scenery. I mean, take pictures, take video, but actually look, look with your eyes. That is what is going to be the most memorable part of this trip is what you see and who you meet. When you look back, you don't wanna just remember looking through a camera the whole time. You wanna remember being able to look at the mountains and look at the valleys and see the snow everywhere, but you have it with your own memories and not just through the camera. Do this train trip, it is amazing. I will remember this trip for the rest of my life and I definitely wanna do it again. It is really comfortable, and if you sleep in coach, I don't think you'll have any problems. If you're going into it with positive mindset and just open to the whole new experience, you're gonna have an amazing time. And I just can't recommend it enough. You're gonna have so much fun. Until next time.